Week two is underway. Today, I'm talking with friend and fantasy football enthusiast Jason Wallace about the fantasy football week two starts. So, hey, Jason, how's it going? Doing well. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. This is uh, going to be fun. Uh, we got the Giants at Bears. Who are you starting this week there? I def- obviously, Saquon had a rough uh, opening game on Monday, but I would definitely start him for their receivers. I think I'd start Darius Slayton, tight end Evan Ingram. Uh, I would not start. He had a terrible week one, um, and he has disappointed me many times in the past. Probably the only guy I would definitely start or at least be a flex option would be Slayton this week. What about you, Sam? No, I agree. Um, for for the Giants, at least, the only two starters I'm, I'm starting are Slayton and Saquon. And then in terms of the Bears players, Allen Robinson, I'd still start him. And to be honest, that's really the only guy I'm starting on the Bears. Yeah, the Bears defense, that's good. Um, I would start them. But other than that, um, yeah, pretty much Allen Robinson hit it pretty Mm -hmm. much on the spot. Moving on to the Rams-Eagles game. Brown uh, did really well in week one against the Cowboys. Uh, Got the bulk of the touches. Um, I actually just traded for – or no, I picked him up on the waiver wire, Malcolm Brown. I would maybe start him as a flex, no no more than that. Uh, The receivers, Robert Woods and Cooper Cup, I would definitely start Robert Woods. I like Woods better this week than Cup, so I'll, I'll probably leave it at that. Uh, if you have Tyler Higby, I, I think he would be a uh, decent start as well at tight end. But, uh, yeah, I agree. Well, the only three people I'm looking to start are Robert Woods, uh, the Rams defense, and Tyler Higby. Everybody else I'm probably sitting. But in terms of the Eagles who I'm starting, I'm actually not starting Carson Wentz. Uh, if you have Miles Sanders, I mean, I, you might as well give him a shot. Um, and then I'd start Dallas Goddard and Zach Ertz, both tight ends. And everybody else I'm probably sitting, that includes Jalen Rager. I'd pretty much agree with uh, what you said. Miles Sanders, uh, definitely. If, I mean, if you drafted him, you've got to play him. And Zach Ertz, I would definitely start. Goddard, uh, I didn't really see their game last week, so I, I couldn't really give you an answer on Goddard, but I'd trust what he said. All right, moving on to the Falcons and Cowboys. Uh, Jason, who, who are you starting from uh, the Falcons? This should be pretty easy. Um, Matt Ryan, of course. Uh, Todd Gurley, he had he actually had a decent week last week. I think he ran for 50 or 60 yards, got a touchdown. Julio Jones, obviously, I'd start him unless uh, – he might be questionable this week. But um, if he's healthy, I'd, I'd start him. Calvin Ridley, uh, I would start him as well. Hayden Hurst. Yeah, Hurst. Uh, yeah, I'd probably start him too. I think this is going to be a really big week for the Falcons. I think I agree with everything you said about starting Todd Gurley. I'm starting Calvin Ridley. I'm starting Julio. Uh, Matt mm-hmm. Ryan start. The only one I'm not starting, I'm not starting Hayden Hurst. I want to see more of him. Although I did see he made a really good catch um, in week one. Russell Gage, the LSU, the former LSU wide receiver. He's their third wide receiver. He's a third receiver uh, right now. He had 12 targets against the Seahawks. I think he had nine receptions for 120 yards, which is huge for a third string yeah. wide receiver. Yeah. Like, are you kidding me? And apparently this is a continuing trend because last season, I think the last four or five games, he was, he was getting eight targets every game. So uh, this is a guy I really like. I like him more than Hayden Hurst. He obviously has much better chemistry than uh, Hayden Hurst, but I guess that's because He's been there longer, but I really like yeah. Russell Gage. He's a guy that you could flex out this week. Um, I picked him up, I think, in two of my leagues, so very excited for him. I'm not starting their defense. I am starting their kicker. He should be five. Uh, he should be fine this week. Um, young Ho. Go on the Cowboys. Who are you thinking of starting? I would start uh, start Dak. I would start Zeke. Ari Cooper is going to be questionable this week. Michael Gallup, I'll give him a start as well. C.D. Lamb, probably not. Yeah, for me, uh, it's really just Dak. Zeke, if Amari's playing Amari, and then I'm actually almost pro CD Lamb over Gallup, just because I, I guess it was just Week One, but they didn't seem to target Gallup that much. He was out, yeah, out of all CD three got of them. A lot of targets. He did not. He didn't get um, a lot of targets Week One, which was very disappointing considering how well he did last season. He was their main guy, and I think that really had to do with the coaching. Jason Garrett had a style of. Let's go to the hot, the hot hand, and the hot hand last year was Gallup, and now it's looking like they're liking CD Lamb better. So at least that's just week one for me. I, I do have Gallup in multiple leagues. Uh, I am sitting him this week just because I have better players. But if Amari Cooper is out, then I will consider it. So 
Um, and then I guess their kicker, Greg Zerlin, I'd, I would start him too. We're going Panthers at Bucks. So what do you got for the Panthers, Jason? Besides McCaffrey and possibly DJ Moore. Yeah, that's probably it. McCaffrey and DJ Moore. Name. Alvin Kamara like ran through that defense and, you know, McCaffrey is basically Alvin Kamara point two two point oh. I, I see him having a really big week. I, I probably wouldn't start DJ Moore, but it's it's funny I am starting DJ Moore at this point because I don't know yeah. who else to start <laughs> because yeah. uh tough matchups down the board for one of my teams. Rebecca Davis, lockdown corner, uh he locked down Michael Thomas, probably the best wide receiver in the game right now. That is kind of my reasoning for not wanting to start DJ Moore. Otherwise, I'd be I'd be interested in starting him. Uh, and I think he will eventually bounce back, but not looking good for a, a week two matchup for DJ. I really, the only guy I'm starting is McCaffrey and maybe Joey Sly. What about for the Bucks? I would probably start Ronald Jones. Tom Brady, I, I guess, I, I think he'd have a good week this week. I'd uh, uh, start him. I'd be open to starting almost every Buccaneers offensive player. That includes Tom Brady, Rojo, Fournette, Mike Evans, O.J. Howard, Gronk. All those guys I OJ, would consider. Yeah, but I, I'm open to starting all of them. The Panthers' defense is really bad. So, all right, 49ers at Jets. This is going to be depressing. Um. <laughs> well, for the 49ers, I mean, I'm starting their defense, obviously. The, yeah. the Jets' offense is not good. Sorry, Jason. I mean, I consider starting Jimmy G. I would start Mostert. And then Jay, Robbie um, Gold, of course, for the 49ers. And then in terms of the Jets – uh, I'm really not starting anybody. On. I, I pretty much agree with you on the uh, on the Niners, uh, most or uh, possibly Jimmy G. I, I have a feeling this is going to be a blowout, and it's going to the game is going to be over early. There's no one to start on the Jets. The Jets are terrible. Adam Gase sucks. Sam Darnold has sucked. Broncos versus Steelers. Who do you got here? Melvin Gordon. Uh, I'd probably I'd probably start or flex. Uh, Cortland Sutton is questionable. I have him in one of my uh, leagues. I'm probably going to start him. Jerry Judy, I probably would not start. Uh, Drew Locke, probably not either. So probably just Cortland Sutton and uh, Melvin Gordon. Yeah, for the Broncos, I'm only starting um, Font, Sutton, and their defense. Other than that, I don't think I I see any other starters on that team. If Saquon doesn't have any chance, Melvin Gordon's not going to have a chance. If Sutton plays, I'm starting him. If not, I'm not starting anybody else besides Noah Font. In terms of Steelers, I'd start Juju, Deontay, I'd start Big Ben. And uh, that's kind of it. I mean, besides their defense and kicker. And maybe Benny Snell uh, in your flex, but even then, I don't know like what their running back situation is going to be. I don't like Connor. Even though Derrick Henry had 100-plus yards on Denver's defense, if you watch the game like I did, like a kind of an idiot, um, then because uh, it was like really slow. I was really yeah. only watching it for fantasy purposes. I needed Derek Henry yeah. to get me over 100 yards. They have a decent, they have a decent looking defense, even without Von Miller. It would just be better with him and if AJ Boye was out there. So uh, I still like their defense is still pretty decent. But I, I, I overall I like those Steelers guys. Those are my starts. What about you? Three um, Steelers defense, obviously. Um, and then Juju and Deontay, I would definitely start. I, I would just point out. Um, Deontay did have 10 – he was the most targeted wide receiver on the Pittsburgh Steelers, but I would also say and slash recommend you only start him in a deeper PPR league. So that means 12 team. He's a definite start uh, this week. Unless you have somebody injured on in your 10-team one, then I'd start him. But PPR, I think he's a start this week. All right, moving on to the Jaguars, Titans. So for the Jags, um, probably the only guy – I would start as DJ Chark um, if I would even start him this week. For the Jags, I would start DJ this week. I have a good feeling their defense didn't do that great against Jerry Judy. He was only a rookie. And um, and then, actually, I'm okay if, you, if you're if you in a deeper league to start LaVisca Chenault. He's the rookie, I think, from FAU. Uh, and then even Gardner Minshew. I'm going to go out on the limb and say start Gardner Minshew. I actually said in my last video – uh, if if I had to choose between Gardner Minshew and Drew Brees this week, I'm starting Gardner Minshew because uh, without Michael Thomas on the Saints, uh, I, I don't. I think it's just going to be tough for them. And apparently Emmanuel Sanders is out too, so I, I just see them running about the ball against the Raiders a ton. As good as the Titans are, they they still have some flaws. And then as far as the Titans, I would go Derrick Henry, and that's it. All right. Well, the the Lions Packers game. Who do you have uh, starting for the Lions? 
I, I, I wouldn't start any of their running backs right now. Um, just, just because, uh, too much up in the air right now. And Stafford might actually have a decent week. Uh, maybe start him. For me, I actually kind of disagree on the running backs. There is one clear guy to start, and that's Adrian Peterson. I actually picked him up uh, two or three in my him. leagues. Yeah. Uh, I really like him. Yeah. The, the Packers defense, they let Dalvin Cook run basically all over him for two touchdowns and, like, I want to say 80 yards at least and to a no start for Galladay. However, I will say I will start Stafford and I will start TJ Hawkinson with Galladay out. I think TJ Hawkinson is the go-to end zone guy for them. And I think Stafford is going to go uh, throw a lot against his uh, NFC North competition. So the Packers, for me, I'm starting Aaron Rodgers. I'm starting uh, probably in a flex position, Alan Lazard. I'm starting Aaron Jones. I'm starting Devontae Adams. I'm starting Mason Crosby and uh, that's kind of it. I'm not really starting anybody else on the team. Who, what about you? Yeah, pretty much same, same uh, all around. And then uh, possibly Alan Lazard. Yeah, that, uh, all the uh, all the main guys for Green Bay. I would be starting. The only other guy who's I'm considering is Marquise Valdez Scantling, uh, but I just think he drops the ball too much. He dropped like two touchdowns last week. Uh, actually, he's a da- he's a daily fantasy play too, but I wouldn't start him in like regular fantasies. So. All right, moving on to the Bills Dolphins. Who do you got starting for the Bills? Uh, I'd probably start Stephon Diggs, Devin Singletary. Yeah, Josh Allen. What about you? What about John Brown? Something that said he practiced today, which is a good sign. Okay, that is good. Uh, So, yeah, I'd start him as well if he he is going to play. But if he's going to be, like, limited in any way, um, probably not. Yeah, I agree. And I also start – I forget if you said the the Bills defense or not, but I'm starting the Bills defense for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then the only uh, the other guy I probably start is actually uh, Zach Moss, but that's like in a kind of a, a deeper flex play. I, I agree with everybody else you said. Uh, in terms of the Dolphins, for me, I'm starting nobody. So, uh, what about you? I'd say the same exact thing. Like, Maybe just Zachy, but yeah, I was gonna say the exact same thing. I, I wouldn't start Preston Williams, but he's gonna be a good guy to lo- watch out for later. The last 10 a.m. game of the. Sunday game slot is the Vikings versus the Colts. Uh, who do you got starting for the Vikings? So I got Dalvin Cook, um, Adam Thielen, Kirk Cousins, I think would have a decent week as well. So probably those three uh, I would go with. What about you? I have to agree. Uh, I will say to look out for Irv Smith. He's their tight end. The, the, the two definites are Adam Thielen and Dalvin Cook though. So And in terms of the Colts, uh, I'd probably start I'd start Jonathan Taylor. I'd start Naheem Hines, maybe Paris Campbell as a flex play. Other than that, like, I don't like T.Y. anymore. I don't think I'm starting anybody else on the Colts. I'd start the two running backs, uh, Taylor and Hines, probably no one else. So Washington football team, who do you got for them? Pretty much no one. Maybe Terry, Terry McLaurin, but Terry um, Terry, yeah. probably just Terry McLaurin, really. Um, I think the only other guy in Washington I'd start would be Logan Thomas, their tight end. They really liked him against the Eagles. Uh, other than that, oh, and actually their defense. I, I actually do really like their defense. My Minshew Draft League, where I drafted Minshew first overall, this was a challenge I did. Yeah. Uh, they still haven't sent me my beer for drafting him. Um, starting Washington, they got a great front. Their defense, their secondary looks really good. But moving on to this Cardinals team in fantasy-wise, they looked good. Kyler Murray, a definite start. Uh, what's his face? D-Hop is definite start. Kenyon Drake uh, is not as a definite start. He's kind of it's kind of similar situation to last week where he's going against a really good defensive line, but I'd still start him just because their offense is going to be elite and the t- the defense will probably get tired. But I think he's a solid start. Really, the only guys I'm starting, I'm not starting Christian Kirk. I'm not starting uh, Larry Tyler and D Hop, and uh, I'd probably start Kenyon Drake. Um, but other than that, you pretty much hit it. Now we got the Ravens, Texans. Who do you got starting for the Ravens? Probably start Marquise Brown, uh, Mark Andrews, of course. Uh, of course, Lamar, Jackson, and that's probably it. I'd only add three guys to the list, and that would be the Ravens defense, uh, Justin Tucker, and uh, yeah. I would actually start J.K. Um, if you're in a, a deep flex league. Texans, guys I'd start are David Johnson and maybe Will Fuller, and that's it. How about you? Yeah. Definitely David Johnson, uh, probably Will Fuller as well. So, Yeah, I don't think I'd start anybody else. Even Deshaun Watson, I'm hesitant to start him. So now moving on to the Chiefs-Chargers game. Of course, uh, a lot of their main guys, Mahoney, um, mm-hmm. Kelsey, 
um, Tyreek Hill. I'd all start them. In terms of their running backs, uh, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, uh, I'd probably start as well. He had a good week. Their kicker as well, I'd start. Yeah, so that's probably it. What about you? I, I would agree with everybody you just said. Uh, I would actually, I would actually start Sammy Watkins, and I would actually start the Chiefs defense. I would start the Chiefs uh, defense yeah, yeah. this week. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I really definitely. like them. Uh, the Chargers, they just lost their center, uh, Pouncey. Mike Pouncey, this is going to be a big game for those big de- defensive linemen. Uh, they, the Chargers haven't gone their offense together. They, they still have a decent secondary. So those are the only guys I'm starting along with the list of players you just said. And then for the Chargers, the only guy, the only three players I think I'd be interested in starting are uh, Austin Eckler, Mike Williams, and Hunter Henry. And those are the only guys. I, I would start Keenan Allen, but I think he has to prove to me that he is actually – uh, that they're actually going to throw to him before I, I start him. I will say the, the only reason I'm not starting Josh Kelly is because I think in order for the Chargers to keep up, they have to throw the ball. And so I think Austin Eckler is going to get a ton of targets as well as Hunter Henry. And then Mike Williams is just a big dude that is hard to cover. So those are my starters for the Chargers. I agree with everything um, except uh, Mike Williams. I probably would not start him this week, but uh, yeah. definitely Eckler and Hayden or. Er- Hunter Henry. All right, uh, second to last, we got the Patriots versus the Seahawks. Do you have starting for the Patriots? For the Patriots, I would uh, go ahead and go with Cam as well. He had a good opening week. Uh, might as well run him back out there. Yeah, that's probably it. Uh, for me, I'd probably – the only addition I would do for the Patriots offense or fantasy-wise would be Edelman and their defense. Those are the only other guys I'm starting because yeah, uh, all they did with last week was run the ball with Cam which is exactly what I wanted to see and exactly what I ex- expected them to do. I didn't expect uh, him to throw the ball a ton. I will say this is going to be a, a difficult, more of a difficult matchup uh, for the Patriots offensive-wise. So uh, Cam might have to throw the ball the most, which is why I think Julian Edelman is there. And then their defense, they just got a lockdown corner and uh, Stephon Gilmore. I think they're just their secondary is just too good, and uh, it's – There'll be a good defense to start this week. I'm actually starting the Patriots defense this week. And then in terms of the uh, Seahawks offensive players I'm starting, I'm actually kind of looking not to start uh, Russell Wilson, but if you really needed to, I probably would. And then I'd probably start Tyler Lockett. And I'm I'm winging it. I'm actually going DK, which is I know it's a kind of a difficult decision, but I, I have A.J. Brown as my other wide receiver. And um, I don't think he's going to play this weekend. So I, I kind of have to start him. And I think – he just needs one, like, 60-yard catch to, to do me good. Some one 60-yard touchdown catch and just to beat uh, Stefan on one play. So that's kind of what I'm banking on. <laughs> I'm going for it. And, uh, and then uh, other than that, I don't, I'm not sure I'd start Carson, Chris Carson. Uh, I'm not starting their defense. I'm not starting their kicker. Pretty much the same. I'd definitely start Lockett. I'm hesitant on Carson. But also Russell Wilson, I would probably uh, start him playing a tough defense, but I think he's going to uh, have a big week. I wouldn't disagree. Uh, I'm, I'm just a little hesitant myself. Moving on to the last team of the week, the Saints Raiders Monday night. So who do you got starting for the Saints? Oh, this is going to be a good game as well. So definitely for the Saints, Camara. Uh, I'd probably start Jared Cook, uh, their tight end. Uh, he's going to be getting some targets this week uh, with those guys out. I can't think of any receivers right now. I'd start their defense. They had a good week last week. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's probably it unless uh, you come up with a receiver that I forgot about right now. The only guy I'm thinking of is Traquan Smith. I think he's a fourth-year He's a fourth year uh, NFL guy. He hasn't really done much in his career, but this is his opportunity to shine. He could be a good op- option against kind of a poor uh, Oakland defensive secondary. I'm not starting Drew Brees. I'd, start, I'd definitely start Kamara, though. He's a big-time start. I'm starting the Saints. I'm starting uh, Will Lutz, and um, I'd start Jared Cook, too. And then on the Raiders, I'm just starting Josh Jacobs and Darren Waller, and that's it. Same here. Yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Definitely, yeah. And I think I would just add that I definitely don't expect him to do what he did last week, but I expect him to be, like, okay and maybe score one touchdown and yeah. get more uh, receptions out of the backfield because this is a really tough Saints defense. Well, their really offense is going to be running pretty much through, the, uh, through him. So, mm-hmm. Jason, thanks so much for uh, sitting and doing this video with me. I really appreciate it. No problem. It was fun uh, going through all the matchups uh, this week, and we'll, we'll see if uh, we were right or wrong. Thanks again for watching and listening. 
If you have any questions or comments about this topic, feel free to contact me on my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram account at Bullseye Fantasy. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my blog. The link is in the Twitter bio. And to rate and share this podcast slash video. Again, those accounts you should follow are at Bullseye Fantasy for Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And to share this video and podcast. Peace.